What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today we're going to be doing a review and demonstration of the Ryobi One Plus 15 gauge finish nailer. Let's do this. Alright guys, so what we've got today is the P330 15 gauge angled finish nailer. This by far is one of my favourite of the Ryobi One Plus range. I've been using this very, very consistently over the past three to four years now and I'm still so shocked that nothing has gone wrong with it. I've had this and I use it very, very consistently um, for all types of works including trim, moulding, uh, door jams. It works exceptionally well. So anytime I'm using this, I've never had any kind of problem with it. The best thing that I love about this and the reason why I actually bought it is because it doesn't require any gas, it has no cords and it also requires no air compressor. So this one here is the Airstrike technology which means it's got a built in compressor. It works off compressed air and all you need is just a battery. That is probably the biggest reason why I purchased this. I hate the smell of the gas. That's me personally. I can't stand the smell of the gas. The last thing I want to do is show up to a job site and have to make sure that I've got enough gas cartridges as well as batteries. If I was to have a flat battery, say on the pass load one for example, um, I'd be in a bit of trouble because I don't really carry spare batteries for pass load nail guns. Um, with the Ryobi on the other hand, this is part of the OnePlus range, so I've got so many of these batteries I never have an issue with it. So my first impressions of this nailer was that it's a little bit bigger than I was kind of hoping for. Um, that's simply because we've got the compressor sitting up on top. As you can tell, it is fairly large. So it does take up a bit of room. It doesn't weigh too much. It weighs in at 6.8 pounds, which is just over 3 kilos, bare weight only. So it's not too bad. So long as you hold that up nice and steady, it doesn't put too much pressure on your wrist. The only time it will actually affect your wrist is if you want to go gangster and then you're going to run into a bit of problems. It starts putting a bit of tension on your wrist, but as long as you're holding that nice and straight, even up vertically, you've got no problem doing overhead work. Now with this one here, this one here takes um, nails from one inch up to two and a half inches, which is about 24 and a half centimeters to 64 and a half centimeters. So that is perfect for the type of work that I actually need for it. You can see here, it's the angled nails um, and that just slots in straight down the bottom. It's very, very easy, convenient, smooth operation. Drop the nails, click the button, and that'll lock into place and you're ready to go. What I really like about this is you can store about 105 nails in this cartridge alone. So that means you're not going to run out of nails. You can load this up and get out there and just get your job done. So with this one here, it's got the little light on top. I might actually need to plug in the battery for the light to work. So we've got the trigger to actually run the gun and we've got a little button down here which turns on the light. So this light is extremely handy. Um, one of the other things I like about it is any time that you do happen to get a jam, and I'm not going to lie and say it doesn't happen, it does happen, especially if you're using um, the nails into probably hard timber or anything like that, it's so easy to actually clear that jam out. You've got a little section on top, you don't need any tools, you just flip this over, click it back, and then you've got direct access to the nails. So I'm not sure if you guys can see, there's a nail already there, um, and it's so easy to take out. You can usually just shake that nail out, if not, you can pick at it and remove that out, making sure, obviously, to remove the battery, first of all. Um, so yeah. On the front here, we've got the little bump um, protector, which is extremely ex important. Um, that prevents you from damaging any of the material that you're actually working on. I happen to have lost this one here um, for a few days. I didn't know where I misplaced it, and I found it in the bottom of my bag. Little did I know that there's actually a built-in spare one right here. So I can just remove that spare one, plug it in, and I'm ready to go. But I didn't actually know that there was a spare one that it comes with the product. I never even noticed whatsoever. Um, so with this one here, Ryobi claims that you can get um, 750 um, nails fired on a single battery using the 4 amp battery, which is extremely interesting. I haven't actually tested it out, to be honest. I don't really know anybody that would shoot 750 nails in one go to be able to test out the battery, um, but really, really comfortable. This grip section here is one of my favorites. I've noticed that a lot of the other brands, including uh, Passload or maybe on their older um, nail guns anyway, it's just straight plastic. Here we've got the rubber coating, so it's nice and grippy, very easy to maneuver, and I really, really like this tool. What we've got on the back here is an adjustment to be able to control the amount of air. Um, I don't really play with this, to be honest. I just leave it on the maximum all the time, and the simple reason for that is we're able to adjust 
um, the depth gauge right here. So you can choose to be able to sink that straight in or you can leave it flush simply by adjusting the gauge here and that'll control um, the depth on your nails. So also we've got two sections on the nail gun to be able to put on our belt clip. We can attach one here and then we've also got one on the other side just above the battery. To be honest, I don't like the belt clips on these. This is pretty heavy and the most times when I'm using this, it's obviously not for framing. So I'm usually on ground level and I can just place this on the ground. So I don't like the belt clip. That's the reason why I haven't got the belt clip on this one. So these here are some of the nails that I actually use. Um, like I said, we can run from one to two and a half inches in nails. Um, so depending on what you're actually using. Now I've used this gun for so many projects. I'm gonna run it through with it all. I'm gonna show you guys a few of the projects that I've actually done with this tool. And I've gotta be honest, I'm still shocked. I can't believe it. I'm gonna tell you guys once again, I use this so often and it's still lasting till now. It is a perfect little tool um, to be able to do all your projects and get away without having to need any kind of gas or air compressors or cords. Very, very impressive and extremely powerful. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys some footage. I've got a few projects that I did starting with this one. So for this first project, what I did was I used a nail gun to install uh, plank flooring or laminate flooring, whatever it is that you wanna call it on the wall. A lot of people don't realize this, but you can make an awesome feature wall, as you guys can tell in this video, um, using uh, plank flooring or timber flooring, laminate flooring, whatever it is, by nailing them up on the floor, uh, on the wall, sorry. So what I did was I simply installed all my plank flooring up on the wall and I used a nail gun to nail them all into place. Left a perfect finish um, and you guys can check out that full video. I'll put the description um, in the link below and also put a little tag up the top if you guys want to check that out. For my next project, what I also did was I've got here building the cubby house. So all the architraves or the framing that I needed to do for around the windows, I use this nail gun and it worked a treat. Not only that, but I also use this nail gun for all the cladding that I did on the property, or on the uh, cubby house, sorry. Almost looks like a property, to be honest, by the size of it. Um, but either way, worked a treat, had no problems. I put in well over a thousand nails into that project. Um, obviously not all in one go, so I haven't actually tested out for the battery. My next project here is what I installed for a feature wall in the lounge room. So it was a basic standard, ugly looking wall. Um, and what I did was I took some molding, I turned them into a few a, a few frames, put them up on the wall, nailed them into place, and I, and I painted the whole area. So this here is very, very similar to Wayne's coating, but um, it's just gone the full length of the wall. All right guys, so for a live demonstration, we've got some two and a half inch nails. Slot that down in place. We can then press the button, lock that in place. So two and a half inch nails, we've got here some 50 mil treated pine, nice and easy material to get through. Fire it down and we can see that comes out perfectly. So I'll bring the camera in a little bit closer. We'll actually shoot a couple more. And have a look at that finish guys, it's perfect, 100% flush. If we wanted to drop that down a little bit further, we can use the adjustment gauge on there and we can drop those nails down even further than that. So like I said, to adjust the depth, we can just use this gauge here, turn that over to the right all the way and that'll drive it down as deep as it can go. So let's give that another whirl. So I'll put three next to each other. And you can see there the three nails that I just drove through, the depth has gone down a lot further than what these ones here have. These ones here are flush, these ones here are probably a couple millimeters below the surface. So let's change these nails over. We'll remove the two and a half inch, swap them over. Once again, same process, slot that straight down, ready to go. We've got here some molding or some trim, nice and easy. That one there has driven that a bit too far, so we can control that, wind it back. Perfect. So that one there was the initial hole that had the depth gauge all the way down. After adjusting it, we've just got a little bit below the surface, which is exactly what we're after. That way we can fill this section up and that'll be perfect, ready to go. So this time around we've got some hardwood flooring. As you can see, it's solid all the way through. Once again, line that up into position and we can easily nail this down. Making sure that when you're working with hardwood, um, just to dial that uh, gauge a bit further down so that you can drive it all the way through. So when using the nailer, the only thing you have to make sure of is holding down the trigger until it's actually fired. If you let go of the trigger halfway through, it tends to stall and then you have to start all over again. So we can fire a couple more shots through here. So this time around, we've got some hardwood that's a little bit thicker. We'll see how the nail gun goes in this case. 
But this one here flowed through no problem. A lot of people might be thinking, is there a delay on using the um, nailer? But I've got to say, it's actually fairly quick. It's probably got about a half second delay between shots. So I'll try and take as many nails um, through this piece of timber as I can in probably about five seconds or so. As you can tell that does fire pretty quickly I'll show you guys the finish on this and there you have it guys that's the finished product driven all those nails through nice and easy in about five seconds worth of work so there you have it guys that's the Ryobi one plus 15 gauge angled finish nailer hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video I'm very very impressed with this product and from the demonstration hopefully you guys can see just how well it handles as always like comment and subscribe until next time I'm Bill thanks for watching Bill's out too